Welcome to the iPad Air Take Apart Guide. To remove the glass digitizer, you will need to apply some heat around the edge of the display. Applying heat loosens the adhesive. Next, use a suction cup to carefully lift up on the glass and then use a very thin guitar pick to slide underneath the edge of the glass. Use the pick to cut the adhesive underneath the glass. Do this around the entire display. Once the adhesive has been cut around the entire display, the glass digitizer will lift up like this. Remove the black anti-static tape covering the two screws on the top of the LCD. Remove the four Phillips screws around the LCD. and then lift the LCD up like this. Next, remove the Phillips screw holding the logic board down to the battery. And then slide a pick between the logic board and the battery to release the contact. Next, remove the Phillips screws from the EMI shield covering the display connectors. Remove the shield and then unplug the LCD cable. And then remove the LCD. Next, remove the digitizer cables and then unplug the home button cable. And then the digitizer can be removed. Next, unplug the Wi-Fi antennas. and then unroute the Wi-Fi antenna cables, next use your Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws from the Wi-Fi antennas. and then remove the antennas. Next, remove the black tape covering the cables located here. Next, remove the small piece of tape covering the speaker connections. Unplug the speaker cables. Next, remove the two Phillips screws located on each side of the lightning port. Mm -hmm. 
use a flat tool to separate the lightning flex cable from the casing. Remove the tape and then unplug the volume flex cable from the logic board. Then remove the three Phillips screws from the EMI shield located here. Remove the tape and then unplug the cable connections from the logic board. Also unplug the rear facing camera from the logic board. Remove the Phillips screw from the headphone jack and then you can take out the assembly. Next use a small flat tool to pry up the logic board from the casing. Next, pry out the FaceTime camera mounting bracket. And then remove the FaceTime camera. Next, carefully remove the microphone assembly. To remove the rear camera, it's best to apply a small amount of heat around the back of the case. Now the camera assembly can be easily removed. Remove the Phillips screws from the power and volume button mounts. Carefully separate the volume flex cable from the casing. A note to remember, the volume buttons are actually stuck to the volume flex cable. So you will need to make sure that the volume buttons come out with the volume flex cable. Next, remove the Phillips screws holding in the speaker assemblies. And then use the thin flat tool to pry the speaker assemblies out.
To remove the battery, you will need to apply some heat to the back case. Applying this heat causes the adhesive on the battery to loosen. Next, use a very thin putty knife such as this one to pry the battery out.